Hello everybody and welcome back to another not applicable Formula 1 video. I hope that you're well. Let's talk Aston Martin because Aston Martin now have a big problem in the shape of Lance Stroll heading into this week's testing. Obviously this year we've only got three days worth of testing in Bahrain as opposed to the six days that we had last year. And those three days of testing are now going to be missed by Aston Martin's Lance Stroll. He put this post out earlier on today on his Twitter, confirming that he has picked up an injury, saying, Hey guys, I've had an unfortunate accident whilst training on my bike in preparation for the season. Feel like I should stress that this is a bicycle and not a motorbike, and therefore the caliber of injury that he might have picked up might be quite minor. I am determined to get back in the car, and I am excited about the season ahead with the team. I am motivated to bounce back from this setback as quickly as possible. A couple of hours after that post, though, it was confirmed by the Aston Martin team that Lance Stroll will miss preseason testing in Bahrain after this training accident. The team relayed the information that Stroll was involved in what has been described as a minor incident has picked up injuries that rule him out of the three-day session from February 23rd to 25th. Aston Martin did add that they expect Stroll to make a quick recovery and return to driving duties in due course, and his fitness will be assessed daily. An update will be issued ahead of the Bahrain Grand Prix, which is scheduled between March 3rd and March 5th. So he's got a week and a half left before the Bahrain Grand Prix in the first Grand Prix of the season to get himself back fit. First and foremost, this is a massive hit to Lance Stroll moving forward in this season. I personally back Lance Stroll to make a big step forward in this 2023 season. He's been around the grid for a little while now, heading into his seventh season in Formula One, and we've seen flashes of brilliance from him. Lots of people still really rate Lance Stroll as a young driver, but I feel like now we're headed into the scenario where he needs to step up a little bit. Just having the occasional good Grand Prix or the occasional wet weather drive that is phenomenal isn't quite going to be enough moving forward. But I think with Fernando Alonso coming into the team and the Aston Martin team looking like they're also taking big steps forwards themselves, the factory being finished, the 2022 car looking really good towards the end of last season, I think this could be a real turning point for Lance Stroll. It's just unfortunate that he's now going to miss out on this testing session because the testing would have allowed him to get a much better feel for this 2023 car. I imagine Aston Martin are going to be developing quite a lot over the winter break. And even though, yes, he's been with the team for a considerable amount of time now, I feel like that even just puts him on the back foot for Fernando Alonso. Fernando Alonso coming into a team, as much as I think it's going to drive Lance Stroll forward, he's a difficult teammate to have. You know, he always demands the absolute best out of every single team that he works with. And also, he is ruthless when it comes to his teammates. Fernando Alonso either loves you or hates you. And I feel like Lance Stroll and Fernando Alonso almost need to make that bond very, very early in the season. Testing could have been a great opportunity for Lance Stroll and Fernando Alonso to work together and develop a little bit of that friendship. Now Lance Stroll is going to miss out on that. I'm sure he's going to still be in Bahrain, but it's not going to be quite the same between the two. In terms of what this means for the Aston Martin team right now, it means that they need a driver that is going to replace Lance Stroll in those three testing sessions. And at this moment in time, it's not clear whether Aston Martin will call upon their reserve drivers, Stoffel van Dorn or Felipe Drogovic, or let Fernando Alonso complete all six testing sessions. Now, I feel like Fernando Alonso completing all six testing sessions would be great for Fernando Alonso in terms of getting to grips with the car, understanding the team, and also understanding these 2023 regulation changes that have been from last season. But also, it is six testing sessions over the course of three days, and the physical endurance that you need to have to do that I just don't know if that's a great idea for Fernando Alonso. Now, I know that these are Formula One drivers. They're in incredible physical condition. But Fernando Alonso isn't a spring chicken anymore. And personally, if it was me, I think I'd go for Felipe Dragovic. I think Stoffel van Dorn has had his time in Formula One. It didn't quite work out. And I can't see him returning to the full-time Formula One grid anytime soon. Now, Felipe Dragovic is a Formula Two champion. He picked up by Aston Martin towards the end of the 2022 season and is a really exciting driver moving forward for the Aston Martin setup. Fernando Alonso is only only going to be with the team maybe two three years currently contracted for two seasons and Felipe Drogovic could definitely be that next step forward for Aston Martin especially if they feel like they're going to have a car by the time 2026 rolls around to get themselves up towards the top of the grid now interestingly on that point there was the news today before the stroll injury that Aston Martin Stoffel van Dorn and Felipe Drogovic joined McLaren's 2023 reserve driver pool joining Mick Schumacher and Alex Pelot in that reserve driver role for McLaren McLaren have an incredibly deep pool of reserve drivers in the 2023 season. 
Having said that, though, Aston Martin did confirm that it would only be for the first 15 races of the 23 over the course of this 2023 season that McLaren would have access to Stoffel Van Dorn and Felipe Drogovic, which is a little bit of a weird caveat, but at the same time, I feel like this is Aston Martin allowing their drivers a little bit more experience across the grid. I think in particular, Felipe Drogovic, if he can get a little bit of a test at McLaren, maybe an opportunity at some other teams over the course of the next couple of seasons. If Fernando Alonso does leave at any point, then Felipe Drogovic is sort of integrated into the Formula One ecosystem. He's been around the block a little bit, maybe seen a few different Formula One teams and how they work. And therefore he can come into the team and sort of take that role as the younger driver. And then Lance Stroll then finds himself kind of in a weird situation, right? Because he's had Sebastian Vettel, an incredibly experienced driver beside him. He's now got Fernando Alonso, a double world champion, incredibly experienced driver beside him. He's then going to have to step up and be that number one driver or that more experienced driver in that Aston Martin setup, which I feel like is where Lance Stroll is at right now in his career. He needs to make that step up in this 2023 season. But of course, that all hinges on Lance Stroll actually being in the car and whether or not he'll be back for the Bahrain Grand Prix for the first Grand Prix of the season is yet to be seen. I really hope that he is because I feel like you're just starting on the back foot if you're not able to take part in that first Grand Prix. We saw it with Sebastian Vettel again for Aston Martin last year. Aston Martin seemed to be a little bit plagued by these first couple of races. But if you look at Sebastian Vettel's performances, it took him a little while to get into the routine of things, into the rhythm of things after missing in those first couple of Grand Prix. And Lance Stroll can't afford that, especially when the pressure is on him to deliver against Fernando Alonso in that Aston Martin car. And also, if the Aston Martin car is as good as I think it's probably going to be, and I kind of expect where Aston Martin are going to be, he's going to be battling with the likes of McLaren, with the likes of Alpine. And if you're dropping a couple of Grand Prix's worth of points really early on in the season, that can be a big hit to Aston Martin in the Constructors' Championship and to Lance Stroll in the Drivers' Championship too. But I'd love to know what you think. What do Aston Martin do at this point? Do they put Fernando Alonso in for all six testing sessions? Do they put Felipe Drogovic into a couple of those testing sessions? I'd love to know what you think in the comments down below. What else you down there? Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you next time.